Another dose of bad news for Southwest Airlines today. That stock cut to a sell at Goldman Sachs, which says the new Hawaii route could be too costly. The company already dealing with scrutiny from the FAA over its baggage weight records and a management investigation into a surge in maintenance-related flight disruptions. Add it all up. We've made it our call of the day. What do you guys want to do with this one, Pete? Southwest it, Airlines. It's set. absolutely gotten beaten down, right? I mean, it, give, it gives you the opportunity there. And, but is that all built in now? Is that built in now? Is it an now? opportunity? Well, uh, maybe. I mean, it, we all know that it's, it is part of the Warren Buffett airline portfolio, right, when he, when, he's, when he went so big into the airline. So I don't know, Judge. I just think there are other names that are executing and not having a lot of the headwinds and a lot of the news that we're hearing about it with Southwest with maintenance issues and everything else. I mean, there's a lot going on. So do you want to be in that right now with all the news? Maybe. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not willing to go there. I still think you have a better opportunity in other different places. Yeah. So I think that the problem with Southwest right now is just a big airline. Not only a big airline, it's the biggest U.S. airline. And they have a hard time being the upstart growth company that they were for 25 years where everybody loved them and treated them like a growth stock. Now they're cyclical. Now they're an airline. They take on big routes. They've got higher costs. And it's very hard to own any of these stocks. They had an opportunity with lower energy prices. Now, now the price has gone back up. And I just don't see how over the next few quarters you can play this. So in 2019, Southwest was outperforming the other major airlines. I think clearly what's impacted them here is is a negative uh, Q1 revenue impact from the government shutdown. And they had guided to a number, and mm -hmm. it came in four to five times higher. So I think Goldman Sachs is on to something here. I think, first of all, the regulatory approval for the new Hawaii routes uh, has, has not even occurred just yet. So they are going to pressure margins by having to cost cut. I think Delta and United probably are better positioned if you're looking for airline exposure because you get the diversification of international routes and you're just not domestically focused. Judge, I don't think anybody knows costs better than Southwest, from Herb Kelleher and the guys that founded this airline to Mr. Kelly, who runs it now. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to push back just that little bit, Joe, against that and against Goldman, not against you as much, saying that I think these guys know what the costs are. For Goldman to tell them, you guys don't really understand what the costs are. I think Goldman doesn't know what they're talking about here. I think Southwest knows costs better than anybody in the space. That's why they've been a leader for so long, quite frankly. They were the biggest hedger back in the days when everybody was doing the hedge against fuel costs and made billions of dollars, or saved themselves, I should say, perhaps, mm -hmm. billions of dollars in costs that the other airlines had to incur. So that was under Herb Kelleher. I don't think that culture disappeared no. just because Mr. Kelly's the CEO. Gary. Okay, so you're telling me that you'd buy the stock here then because yes. that's a pretty I'm with Pete on this big one. I beat down on, on Goldman's call. Yeah, I, I just disagree completely. I don't think, you know, somebody pushing a pencil at Goldman Sachs is as good at the numbers as the people are at Southwest, okay. bottom line.